Hello. Collaboration is one of the key themes here at IPBC Asia 2016 in Shanghai. And no surprise, when the Internet of Things beckons, it will require a lot of collaboration and cooperation among competing interests, as we're about to hear from Keith Bergelt, who's the Chief Executive Officer of the Open Invention Network. You spoke very passionately about the subject uh, in the mid-morning session on day one, Keith. Why is it that this is such a, so close to your heart, the subject? I see it as really an opportunity to ensure that we have global inclusivity of, of ideas and the, uh, to allow us to distill the collective intelligence of an entire population of people who come out of the engineering and computer science world. But generally speaking, the whole industry around IP is based on litigation, it's based on protection of ideas, of shutting other people out, not bringing them in. Well, I think in some sense we're redefining how we utilize intellectual property in an open source centric world. It used to be that we would have a rather uh, uh, limited approach to how we filed patents. We filed in, in areas that we found of interest, but we weren't as precise and, and as strategic as we could have been. Now with open source, we're collaborating at the core to, be a, to develop a, a central uh, corpus of technology that we can all uh, leverage in our own ways and make choices around where we're going to find uh, our, uh, our differentiation. And so it's no longer just broad-based, uh, individualized invention strategies company by company because we're no longer working in silos. We've now put ourselves in a position of interdependence. That interdependence means that where we collaborate, where we work with each other and rely on each other's ideas to be able to build new platforms, we shouldn't be suing each other. And we should, be, we should maintain traditional intellectual property practices to support innovation, but we should do it in a more selective and careful way, higher in the stack of technology. Mm. Is this driven by the IoT? I think IoT is probably one of the, the best examples of how this is being used, but it's really started uh, in projects as, as early as well, 20 years ago, 20, 22 years ago, when Linux was founded as a project. It was founded with the notion of humility that this is an idea I have when Linus Torvalds put out his first missive to say this is an idea I have, this is some code I developed, I'd invite others to participate and make recommendations and to build on this code, use it as you see fit, and the only requirement is that as you use the code that you contribute back any improvements and you make your source code available. And so it established, it was established under a code of conduct under the, the, Linux, the first significant Linux project uh, and it's been used by hundreds of projects since mm. as a set of norms. Mm. Interesting. Obviously, uh, also in 2017, apart from Donald Trump's inauguration, we'll also see IPBC India, one of our the latest events in, in the, the stable of IPBC. And again, it's a subject very close to your heart. You feel very strongly about intellectual property in India. Why is that? I think India's uh, taken a different path. It, its history is very different. There isn't a significant history of intellectual property in terms of, of patenting. And I think they're struggling with what path they should take. And they're very solicitous of outsiders' perspectives, not to provide a dispositive view, but to, to help inform the perspective so that they make a better decision about this patentability of software, software, uh, the, the whole notion of, uh, of the patent system, I think, is under, under review. And so uh, there's, a, there's a different dynamic afoot there, and because it's in such a nascent stage of development, I not only feel a, a kinship, but an obligation to share best practices from around the world, from the communities of open, of open and closed that I've lived in during my professional mm. career. But they're not likely to just take wholesale what's been done in other countries, no. right? So I think what do you think some of the nuances will be that will be discussed at IPBC India? Uh, clearly, software patentability and, and uh, subject matter uh, patentability, what is susceptible to patenting, what should be, what the history is with litigation. There, Xiaomi was famously sued in that environment uh, uh, last year uh, on uh, some patents owned by Ericsson. Uh, is it an environment where large companies are going to utilize the, uh, the lack of patent history uh, to be able to create uh, to exact tolls, or is it going to be an environment which develops its own path and its own unique rich history starting now, rather than just adopting models that have been used elsewhere and probably the flaws that come along with those. Mm.
It's a question that will no doubt be hotly, hotly be uh, discussed at IPBC India. Thank you again. Keith Bergelt for joining oh, us here in the you. IPBC Asia studio. The Chief Executive Officer of the Open Invention Network. And I'm Mark Laudy coming to you from IPBC Asia 2016 in Shanghai.